What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a hair care routine and I feel like I've been promising this video for months, but it's finally here. Um, I really kind of wanted to perfect my hair care routine and I feel like I have it down packed. I've been using this exact routine for the last few months and I just feel like it's everything. First off, I just want to say I need my nails done really bad so we're not going to judge. I also used a different uh, tanner for the first time like a clear lotion and I actually really like it but of course when using a new product there's some learning curves so please ignore so in this video I'm going to share with you guys my hair care routine mainly like what I do in the shower shampoo that I use masks that I use all of my little tips and tricks and I'm also going to quickly give you guys a little color update because I have had literally so many comments so many questions so many dms um, from you guys asking like what is your hair color and also asking me an update on how I got my hair to this brown color because if you guys follow me and you're an OG subscriber then you saw the mess of what was me trying to get my hair from black to brown at home on the vlog channel and it was like a whole situation and I really messed up my hair. Before we get into the video, I do want to mention that this video is sponsored by Teamy, so huge shout out to them. I'm going to share with you guys two products that have absolutely just been a game changer for me and really helped keep my skin clear throughout the week. So I'm going to go ahead and play the little clip now and share those products with you guys. Okay, so really quickly, I'm going to share with you guys these products I've been obsessed with by Teamy. This is the Super Food Cleanser. Before we get into it, actually, let me just show you guys my skin close up. I have not washed my face yet, obviously. What I love about this cleanser is it is 100% clean, it's cruelty free, it's very nutrient dense. So there's so many amazing things in it like matcha, apple, sea kelp. I feel like it takes out all of that dirt and grime out of my pores. Um, if you're like me and you suffer from a lot of blackheads and clogged pores, you're going to love this. I've noticed a huge difference. Now we're going to go ahead and use um, the Teamy Detox Mask. You guys, this is absolutely incredible. I have used so many masks and I just feel like a lot of them are really gimmicky. They don't really have the powerful ingredients that'll be able to really take the impurities out of your pores. So I absolutely love this. It's made with organic matcha green tea. There's clay in here, there's lemongrass. There are so many great ingredients in here that are really going to take the impurities out of your skin. And not to mention that it actually has a nice, really light scent to it. Like it's hard to describe, but it's a nice light scent. Like I've used masks in the past that just have a very harsh scent and it's almost just like uncomfortable to even use. So I love the texture of this, I love the scent and it's just been a lifesaver throughout the week this is good once a week to kind of do like mini facials in between it's just perfect it's like a facial at home like i mentioned before um just to make sure that i can keep my skin clear it has been 15 minutes i'm just gonna awkwardly get close to the camera here um as you can see like look at all of the little you can see it really went into the pores it's like satisfying to watch but disturbing as well because you can just see how many pores you have and it's just like oh my god so you just really know that the mask is going to get in there and take out all of those impurities from your pores i'm obsessed so now i'm going to use lukewarm water never use hot and just rinse it off yeah so that is pretty much it you guys like i said i do this about once a week just as like a little mini facial if you guys are interested you can use my code Macedo 25 to get 25 percent off which i think is an amazing deal i'm gonna go ahead and leave the link in the description box down below so if you guys are not interested in my color update because i'm gonna give you guys a color update right now if you're not interested in hearing about that and you just want to get right into the hair care routine then i'm gonna leave a timestamp on the screen and you can skip this part and just get right into the hair care routine so yeah color update a lot of you guys have asking me what color is my hair this is my natural hair color you guys i have not dyed or colored my hair in literally two years um the last time was like october 2018 in between that time i have gotten my hair toned once at the hairdresser like a year ago but that has completely faded it's like a semi toner so this is all pretty much my natural hair color up until like about here ish um and I do have leftover color still like at the bottom so half of my head is natural and half is the um, color that I used which is crazy because the color that I used actually ended up really matching my natural hair color which is I wasn't even trying to do that it wasn't intentional at all so the color that I last dyed my hair because I know a lot of you guys want to know um, in October 2018 I colored my hair with the ion 5ag permanent hair color and honestly it is the most beautiful hair color ever absolutely love and it is a bit darker than this just warning you guys 
um, but it faded to this color. After like a few washes, it fades to this brown color. And then a lot of you want an update on how I was able to finally reach my goal of getting this brown hair color from my black. I pretty much tried to dye my hair or bleach my hair at home from black to brown, and I really didn't educate myself enough. I really didn't do enough research, so I ended up messing up really bad that I had to bleach my hair three times. A lot of my hair honestly fell off. Like I literally had chunks of my hair that were just completely gone. My hair was really, really bad, really dry and damaged. So yeah, I had to bleach my hair all over again. And I realized that the key is if you want to go from black to brown hair, then you have to get your hair light enough so that when you put a brown hair color, it isn't so red. Um, brown tends to have a lot of red tones, so that was kind of the mistake I made at first. I didn't lighten my hair enough. I bleached my hair down to like a level six, to be honest with you. Level six, like blonde, like a darker blonde. And then on top of that, I went ahead and put the Ion 5 AG. Basically, when you tone your hair, it has to be the same level or at least one darker to be able to tone. You can't tone your hair with a color that is lighter. It's not going to work. So because I wanted this like level five brown hair, I bleached my hair to a level six and then I used a level five and that really helped to tone as well as give me that brown color. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That was like the rule of thumb that I really learned. I am not gonna lie to you guys, my hair is not perfect. It's not perfectly toned at all. I still have like this leftover bleached tones that just really come through and they do look orangey but i have found a toning shampoo that does really work also i know i've mentioned this in the past but this is like major key and some people get shocked when i say this but i only wash my hair once a week i know some of you guys are gonna cringe when i say that but it is perfectly clean and healthy to do that I'm telling you, you are damaging your hair by washing it every day or even every other day. Basically what's good about it is those oils and grease, greasy hair that your hair produces, yeah, it sucks because you don't really get to wear your hair down, but your hair needs those natural oils that it produces. So honestly, it's really healthy for your hair. So I highly recommend that. So yeah, if you guys want to see my hair care routine and how I keep my hair super healthy and how I repaired it from being so bleached and damaged, then definitely um, continue watching. So if to start off, these are my shampoo and conditioners that I've been absolutely obsessed with. This is the Function of Beauty. No, this video is not sponsored. Yes, they sent this out to me like almost a year ago actually now. And as you guys can see, I'm out of the bottle. I've been really loving this stuff. It is so good. It lathers up really nicely, cleans my hair. Um, after not washing my hair for six days, I need a shampoo that's really gonna help clean. And this does the trick. It also smells amazing. So I've just been really loving this. So of course, I'm just rinsing out all of that shampoo. I do tend to just shampoo the roots and mid parts of my hair. I do not shampoo the ends. And then this shampoo has been really helpful to tone my hair and get rid of that brassiness. So like I mentioned, I still have some leftover bleached hair at the bottom. So the brassiness really comes through. And um, this one is so good, you guys. This is like the first dark green um, toning shampoo that I have found. Um, if you have dark hair like me, this is gonna be really helpful. I'm not gonna lie to you guys and say it's like magic and it erases all of the red tones, but it does help to tone it down a little bit. If you are like me and you wanna tone down the red tones in your hair, then make sure to get a green shampoo like the one that I'm using right now. But if you have orange tones in your hair, then get a blue shampoo. Okay, this mask is absolutely incredible. So I popped this one up on the screen because the one I put on the screen is the one I've been using for years and love, but I thought they changed the packaging. So when I went to go repurchase it, I purchased the wrong one. Now the one I'm using is actually still really good. It's the nourishing mask, but my ultimate favorite that I've been using for years is the deep repair mask. Regardless, not to confuse you guys, I will link the correct one down below, but hands down, this mask is exactly what saved my hair and repaired my hair hair and made my hair healthy again after bleaching it is everything it's incredible i use it every single time i wash my hair so i make sure to leave the mask on for at least five minutes but ideally i try to do 10 minutes and then i forgot to mention for the toning shampoo i leave on for at least three to five minutes and now i'm just putting conditioner only on the ends of my hair and i didn't get a clip but of course i rinsed out the conditioner 
So this is really random, but I wanted to show you this cleaning tip. Use this little squeegee after you wash your hair to remove all of the soap splashes on the glass and you will have a clean shower. It only takes like an extra 10 to 15 seconds to do at the end of your shower. And this is my little trick for keeping my glass shower clean. Okay, so I'm out of the shower now. I have my hair up in a towel. I wanted to mention how important it is for you guys not to rub your hair in the towel like i see sometimes people will go like this and rub their hair you definitely don't want to do that um, because that does cause more damage on your hair and it also makes your hair more frizzy so don't rub your hair um if you want to dry it you can just kind of like scrunch it like pat it i'm actually really feeling this hair look what do you guys think <sighs> okay i actually really like this look at these natural waves for those of you who don't know my natural hair is wavy um, not as like crimpy and wavy as this. It's more of like a beachy wave. I actually like my natural hair, but Okay, so the first thing I will do is brush my hair. These are like my go-to brushes slash combs um, I like to part my hair in a middle part. So I will always take this type of comb I actually have um, I'm gonna try to link this one too, but I have one linked on um Amazon for you guys on my Amazon shop Just go to the description box and I linked one there. Um, you can also get it at Sally's beauty supply but i just really like it because of the like really pointy tip you can get a really precise parting then i will do that to make sure it stays and then to make it easier i will brush my hair in two parts and you guys will see how easy look how easy my brush goes through my hair and that's literally because of that hair mask i am not joking when i ran out of the hair mask I didn't use any when I showered and I cannot tell you my hair that week. It wasn't as healthy. It wasn't horrible, obviously, because I have pretty healthy hair now, but it just wasn't as soft. And when I went to brush my hair, there were like a few tangles. Whereas with this, when I use the mask, like look, and let's do this side. There's a little bit of resistance, but that's it. Like bam, just goes right through. Like I love that hair mask. It really just like detangles your hair, makes your hair so soft, so silky. If there's anything you guys need to get from this hair care routine, it is that hair mask. Like hands down, I'm not joking. It is the best. Since we're letting our hair air dry, this is like the easiest part of my hair care routine. I love it because it's so simple and so easy. I don't need to blow dry my hair. The reason why I started air drying my hair was because I really started trying to minimize the amount of heat that I use on my hair. Obviously heat damage and all of that. And I've noticed the difference since I have stopped blow drying my hair. So this has been my go-to product. This is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil. If you look on Sephora, this has really good reviews. And I asked you guys on Instagram if I should buy it before I did. And a lot of you said yes. It also is heat and UV protective, so it's going to protect your hair. Um, tomorrow, when I go and straighten my hair, I will have this heat protectant in it. So I will just take a few... Whoa, oh my god. That literally went in my eye, Jesus. I will just take a few sprays on each side. Really make sure I get the ends as well. And then that's it. So I will put some hair oil in my hair while it is wet. Um, you guys will see tomorrow when I show you how I straighten my hair that I love the way hair oil. This is so weightless. I'll talk about it in the next clip, but oh my God, it's, a, it's so good. But I have this one still left over and I love this one. It's really good. I just love how like weightless this one is, but I still have to use this up. So regardless, I just put a um, good hair oil in just like about that much. Like not a whole, whole lot, cause I don't wanna overdo it cause I'm gonna put more when I style my hair, like straighten it. So I will run it through the ends and it's really easy when your hair is already brushed out and parted in the middle because you can really make sure you're spreading the product good. And yeah, just honestly focus it on the ends. If you have layers, be, make sure to get all over. Once you have like leftover product on your hands, you can go around the rest of your hair but do not go to the roots so now for the rest of the day i will leave my hair down let it air dry okay you guys so it is the next morning and this is my hair when it has just air dried mind you i did keep it obviously in a bun while i was sleeping so it normally wouldn't be this like curly and bouncy so i always get asked what straightener i use and this has been my favorite for years you guys i have been using this for like i think four or five years now 
um i do think that they are they discontinued this exact model like i think they upgraded um and made a new model so i will link the new model down below and now honestly i will just run the straightener through my hair quickly like again i don't need to make it perfect because i actually want it to just be a nice natural straighten so that my hair doesn't get too flat um throughout the week so a trick that i will do is um, on the ends of my hair, I will take it and just curve the straightener in slightly and it makes your hair a little bit more movable um, and just a little bit more natural. This straightener heats up so, so fast and it gets my hair done so fast. Like you can see, I'm taking like the hugest, thickest piece of hair ever. Like I'm taking half my head literally, passing through it and it's already almost done. Just need one more pass through the front here. And bam, you have a natural straighten. Obviously, if you want a sleek straighten, you do need to do smaller sections, but the fact that it's straightened that thick piece of hair is crazy. And then just curve the ends. Okay, so another trick that I do, I get asked a lot how I maintain or um, keep my flyaways down. So here's a little trick that I do. So take it and push it down. And the way that you're gonna push it down is you're gonna like curve your straightener and really push it. You pretty much just wanna manipulate the way that your hair is laying. All right, and then that is straightened now. So now what I will do I'm gonna show you a few of my staple products. So this is the um, Whey hair oil. It is the best hair oil I have ever used. It's super, super fine. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's almost like water. It does not weigh your hair down at all. Oh, and it smells like a dream. So I literally will take the tiniest little bit and I will just run it through the ends to the middle of my hair. Literally, I cannot explain enough. This literally feels like water. Like it's so, so, so thin. And I love that because it's not thick, it's not greasy. It makes your hair smell amazing. Then for the top, I will use the Whey Matte Pomade. So this is matte. It is not going to leave the top of your hair, um, your roots greasy at all. So you're gonna take some on your fingertips and again, only use a little bit and kind of work your way up if you feel like you need more. And then you can, look at that, no flyaways. You can push down those flyaways. And that is it, you guys. That is how I keep my hair shiny and just bouncy, silky, healthy hair. Um, you wouldn't even know that I completely ruined it two years ago with bleach.